Curious John visit the library. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, Josie and his friend, the man with the yellow hat, were at the library. Josie had never been to the library before. Everywhere he looked, people were reading. Some people read quietly to themselves. But in the children's room, the librarian was reading out loud. It was a story hour. George loves stories. He sat down with a group of children to listen. The librarian was reading a book about the bunny. George liked bunny. Behind the librarian was a book about the dinosaur. Georgia liked dinosaur even more. He hoped she, she, she would read in that. But next, the li librarian read a book about a train. Georgie tried to stay quietly and wait for the dinosaur book to be read. But sometimes it is hard for a little monkey to be patient. When the librarian started to a story about jungle animals, Georgie could not wait any longer. He had to see the dinosaur book. He tiptoed tip closer. Look, a monkey, shouted a girl. The librarian put her finger to her lips. We must be quiet so everyone can hear, she said nicely. But there was a monkey, said a boy. The librarian nodded and smiled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She agreed. When she finished reading the jungle story, the librarian reached for the dinosaur book. Where did it go? And where was it, George? Josie was all ready to take the dinosaur book home and read it with his friends when another book caught his eyes. This book was about trucks. Georgie wanted to take him home too. And here was a book about elephants. Georgie loved elephants. He added it to his pile. Georgie found so many books and soon had more than he could carry. He landed against a shelf of rest. Squeak went the shelf. Shh, said the man. Squeak, shh, said the man. Squeak, squeak. Went the shelf, shelf again. again. Shelf again. And it moved. Why, it wasn't really a shelf after all. Georgie had found a special trolley for carrying books. What love! Now Georgie could carry all the books he wanted. He rode the trolley between the shelf and stack up books about books and kite and baking cake. He climbed higher to reach books about cranes and planes. And then Georgie had all the books he could handle. He couldn't wait to hear some hear home and start reading. And right in front of him was a ram reading to the door. Georgie was curious. Couldn't he rode the trolley all the way home? Down the ramp, Georgie went. The trolley rolled faster and faster. Stop! A library, a library volunteer shouted. 
Come back here with my trolley. But Georgie was too excited to listen. The trolley was a picking up and speed. speed and and Georgie was having fun. Until fresh, Georgie and the trolley ran smack into a self of a in encyclopedia. Book flew up in the air, and so did George. He landed in a big pile right between O and P. Oh no. The volunteer he saw the mess Georgie had made. How am I going to put away all of these books? I like to borrow, this, borrow, borrow this one. This one. Said the boy from Story Hour. And I will take this one, said a girl. With help from Georgie and the children. The books were start, sorted, sorted in no, no time. time. Soon there was just a small pile of George's favorite left. Would you like to make to the, take those to books? take those books home with you? The volunteer asked George. Then he took George to special desk and help him get his very own library card. Georgie was holding his brand new card when his friends arrived with a stack of books of his own. There you are, George, she said. I see you all ready to check out. Georgie and his friend gave their books to the library. He sm she smiled when she saw George's file. I was wondering where this dinosaur book went. She said, It's one of my favorites too. The librarian started the book, stamped the book, and handed them back to George. Put his books under the arm. George waved goodbye to the volunteer, the librarian, and the children from the story hour. Come and see us again, George. The, the librarians are waving back. Enjoy your books. And he did. The end.